If you are interested in learning more about Blender 3D, then check out our Masterclass Introductory course available over at our website, baileygraphics.com. This course is the perfect starting point for anyone beginning on their Blender journey with over eight hours of content, all for absolutely free. So if you're interested in starting your journey in learning how to use Blender, then check out the link in the video description. If you have used Blender for any length of time, you will be aware of the most important hotkey of all, Control C to undo previous actions. For example, I can hit G, Y, then six to move my cube on the Y axis. If that action was a mistake, I can hit Control and Z to undo that operation. I can use Control Z multiple times in order to bring myself back multiple steps. So for example, let's move our object, rotate our object, and then scale. I've performed three separate operations, a change in location, a change in rotation, and a change in scale. By holding Control and pressing Z, I undo the most recent operation, which was the scale. Hold Ctrl and Z again to undo the rotation. Ctrl and Z a third time to undo the location. However, you may want to have a little bit more power than that. You may want to be able to go very quickly to a very specific point in your workflow. You can do this with the repeat history menu. So I'm going to perform the same actions again. So move on the Y axis, rotate on the Z and scale on all axes. Then I'm going to go to the edit menu and you can see that we have the ability to repeat the last action or repeat history, or we can go to this undo history option. So if we left click, it takes us to our previous actions. So currently our most recent action is the resize option. If I left click here, nothing's going to happen. And the reason why is because this is where we are after using the resize tool. If we want to go back to before resizing, but after rotating, we can press the rotate option here. That's going to take us back to the time before we scaled our model. Now, provided that you don't do anything else, if you go back to your undo history, you will actually still see the resize option available. So you can actually go backwards and forwards in time with your undo history. So say if I wanted to go back to before I moved, I can do so right here. But I don't lose my ability to go back to my location, rotation and scale. So I can go back and go back to rotate, for example. Now, the one time when these options will disappear is if we perform a separate action. Now, for example, say if I go back to when I moved my object. So currently it's moved six meters on the Y axis, but it hasn't been rotated or scaled. If I hit the G key and then move it on, say, the X axis, I've performed a new operation. Now, what this means is if we go back to our undo history, the rotate and resize options have been removed in place of the new move option. So we can now differentiate between when we moved on the X axis and when we moved on the Y axis, or even before that by going back to the original state.